एवरी वन वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू फ्रॉम द सेम टॉपिक दैट वी डिस्कस्ड इन द वेरी लास्ट लेक्चर ऑफ अर्स सुमाकस टेक्नोलॉजी विथ ह्यूमन फेस सो वी एंडेड विथ दिस कोड दैट शुमाकर गिव्स द सोल्यूशन ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी विथ ह्यूमन फेस वॉट एग्जैक्टली इट मीन्स दैट ही डिस्कसेज इन द नेक्स्ट पैराग्राफ्स ऑफ हिज एसे और वी कैन कॉल इट एज अ क्रिटिकल एसे इन द बिगिनिंग शुमाकर सेज द प्राइमरी टास्क ऑफ ईच टेक्नोलॉजी इज टू लाइटन द बर्डन ऑफ वर्क दैट मैन कैरीज इन ऑर्डर टू स्टे आ लाइव एंड डेवलप हिज पोटेंशियल सो वी नो दैट वी यूज डिफरेंट गैजेट्स नम इज लाइक फोन वेहीकल्स कंप्यूटर बिसाइड्स दिस इन इंडस्ट्रीज डिफरेंट मशीन्स हैव बीन यूज टू प्रिपेयर सर्टन थिंग्स टू पैक द थिंग्स to carry the things so we have machines everywhere the main aim is to lighten the burden of his work and not to uh, not to reduce or completely remove his work we have forgotten this concept that for which purpose we originated or we uh, founded the technology it is easy enough to see that technology fulfills this purpose when we watch any particular piece of machinery at work a computer for instance can do sec- can do in seconds what it what it uh, the take uh, clerk takes or even mathematicians uh, take in a very long time if they can do it at all the more difficult to convince oneself of truth of this simple proposition when one looks at the whole societies when i first began to travel the world visiting the rich and poor countries alike i was tempted to formulate the first law of economics as follows the amount of real leisure a society enjoys tends to be inverse proportion to the amount of labor machinery saving it employs so uh, he takes one very nice formula from economics and he discusses the same formula with us he says that the amount of real leisure a society enjoys means whatever the society enjoys uh, Uh, it is completely inversely proportional to the amount of labor saving machines it employs so whatever machines we apply uh, if we apply 100 machines inversely we get uh, less pleasure here it might be a good idea for the professors of economics put this proportion into their examination papers and ask their pupils to discuss it however that may be the evidence is very strong indeed if you go from uh, easy going england to say germany or to united states you find that people there live under much more strain than here means uh, of, at one side we feel that technology has really reduced our work uh, we feel that it has really given us comfort but on the contrary actually it has given us more stress it is giving us more stress because the people who are quite far away from technology they are enjoying the real pleasure of life they are enjoying the real happiness life of life which we are unable to enjoy and uh, he has given the same evidence of this point uh, by using uh, here certain uh, uh, quotes like uh, Uh, the amount of real leisure a society enjoys tends to be inverse proportion to the amount of labor saving machines they employ again he gives the example of england where uh, england or germany or united states you find the people there live under much more strain than here means in england even uh, the countries which are developed the people live in a kind of a stress they uh, have physical as well as mental stress but uh, if we go to the country like burma which is very near to the bottom league of industrial progress you find that people have an enormous amount of leisure really to enjoy themselves of course as there is much more less labor saving machines to help them so they could really enjoy their life because they have very less uh, labor saving machines and uh, they are more far away from uh, machines and that's why they use their physical strain there physical strength while working uh, so 
again the writer says that the fact remains that burden of living rest much more lightly on their shoulders than ours the question of what technology actually does for us is therefore worthy of investigation now uh, we had founded technology for uh, uh, light and our burden but the question is what really technology does for is uh, us is uh, one of the major questions we face Uh, the question of what technology actually does for us is therefore worthy of investigation obviously greatly reduces it really greatly reduces some of our works but increases other kind of the works means at one hand we feel we it has lightened our burden but it has increased some other kind of works too the type of work which modern technology is most successful in reducing or even eliminating is skillful productive work of human hands so the technology is taking human skills it is taking away uh, productive productivity of human beings uh, which is the most important part or we can call it as a human resource and it is very much useful for developing nation and the same thing uh, technology is taking away and that's why we are moving towards poverty and unemployment these two points have been already discussed by author here in the same topic again a writer says in an advanced industrial society such work has become exceedingly rare means in an advanced society of japan uh, like uh, england even U- us we find that all the things are normally done by the machines so rarely people get uh, work for their own hands they uh, sit idle they don't apply their brain anywhere and a great part of the modern neurosis may be due to the very fact for human being defined by thomas aquinas as a being with brain and hands enjoy nothing more than to be creatively usefully productively engaged with his own hands and his hands so Uh, it lessens human activities uh, activities of human brain also because when we start to depend on things or uh, uh, the machines we start to, we stop thinking and when we stop thinking nothing more can be created no uh, no creative things will be uh, added in future uh, and this is what writer says that we have stopped our brain uh, to become which was so much active so in few decades back nowadays uh, uh, everything has been captured by the uh, uh, technology now we have become victim of technology in this way here the poet ends this passage so how uh, to make technology uh, or, or how to create technology with human face the answer of this question poet gives in next passage of this uh, essay thank you